Hi, Drew Bowes. Today we're going to be talking about picking better times to think nothing matters, how we tend to be nihilistic exactly at the worst times. Um, I don't know about you, but I tend to think nothing matters exactly when I need to think nothing matters, and thus I need to act on it. It's curious. Um, when we're extremely busy, when we have a project we're doing, when we have work to do, um, you know, we just don't have time, say, to sit, eat, enjoy the day, play with the kids, things like that. Um, and yet when we get a report back on our work where the boss is unhappy with us or, you know, we, we type something and nobody likes it, then we just kind of sit around and say nothing matters. And it's interesting because, you know, it's precisely actually when we feel like we don't have time to do different things or we don't have time to, say, pay attention to life. That's, uh, that's exactly when we need to think nothing matters. Uh, you know, in a kind of positive way to go, well, you know, nothing matters. I shouldn't be taking myself too seriously. And it's yet it seems interesting because it seems at those times that it's most unnatural to think nothing matters. Whereas, say, when we don't feel good or we're upset or we're depressed, it seems natural to think nothing matters. And yet that's precisely when, when we need to remember that nothing matters. Uh, as in, if we say nothing matters, well, then it matters and we need to act on it and we need to do something. Um, or, you know, to remember that there are things worth doing and that life is worth living. Um, and so it, it's curious that there's something about us that seems so naturally uh, prone to think about or summon or to refer to nihilism exactly when it can't give us any power. And it's interesting to think, for me, of nihilism, you know, that that word can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. And I've used it myself to mean different things. But if I'm using it here as a kind of way to think in terms of nothing matters, then there's a way in which there's a positive use of nothing matters to free us, to, to help us overcome our sense of life, uh, of taking life so seriously or to be busy all the time. And it might be the case that only nihilism is strong enough of a sentiment to say resist capitalist capture or the pressures of society or political um, capture, you know, captures a term from Deleuze. And, and it's interesting to think that, you know, although nihilism seem, is kind of an extreme idea, nothing matters, maybe that's the only idea that's strong enough to help us resist the pools and emotional sways of capitalism. It, it kind of made me also think, you know, there's a version in religion of nihilism, arguably kind of Gnosticism, which is the notion that this life doesn't matter, only the next life lives, or that matter doesn't matter and spirit is good. It's very dualistic. Well, at the same time, what's kind of interesting is even that might have some use because, um, you know, if you say, you know, nothing, this life doesn't matter, then it might be easier to not fall victim to political persuasion or to fear death or to be afraid of rejection because you go, well, you know, this life doesn't matter. The next life is the one that matters. And so you're actually braver. You're less anxious. Now, I'm not a Gnostic and I think religious Gnosticism is quite dangerous, but it's very interesting to think of how there's a positive spin. There's a positive version where Gnosticism might actually make us more courageous or able to keep things in perspective. Likewise, nihilism might help us um, free ourselves from capitalist capture or worry or fear or anxiety. Um, but again, it doesn't seem natural to think nothing matters except at the worst possible times. We don't tend to think it exactly when we need to think it. And, and I think also what this suggests is you know, there's nothing wrong with, say, um, work or career or working on a book or anything like that. But there seems to be something wrong when we grip it too tightly, when we take it too seriously, when we hold it with a gripped hand versus with an open hand. And reminding ourselves that ultimately nothing matters uh, can be a way to have dialectical balance. It, it seems to be important because it makes us dialectical. There seems to be a problem with thinking nothing matters in a kind of A is A, pure sense, like a pure nihilism, in the same way that there's a, a danger in thinking, you know, everything matters, you know, because that's A is A. There's no dialectic there. In order to get a dialectic, you need to think nothing matters precisely when you feel like something matters. Uh, you know, that creates a dialectical tension. When you're very focused on a work or you think a work or something is the most important thing in the world, that's when you need to remind yourself nothing matters because that creates A, B. That creates dialectic. And it makes me think we were talking 
Michelle and I, we, we were talking with Sam uh, Greenerside the other day about how when you're young, you know, emotions kind of strike you and they're so strong. You know, if you're, it's a relational context with the hormones, you're like, oh, if this person rejects me, how will I ever live? And it's kind of like emotions feel so unquestionable. They're so powerful. Um, it's precisely against those kind of feelings. What's likewise careers or pressures at work or status anxiety or social anxiety. These things are so powerful that we need an equally powerful force to combat them and to resist them. And the notion nothing matters seems as if it might be uniquely um, able to, re to stand against those persuasions and those forces. Um, and to the, in this way, again, one is using quote-unquote nihilism positively. Uh, in an a affirmative way to help us be um, to help us be dialectical, uh, to help keep us motivated, to keep us balanced, to keep us gripping reality in the right way, and yet because it seems so unnatural to do this, it would seem that we need to habituate ourselves, habit, create habits, character orientations, regularly think in certain ways, so that when the feelings come that make us think nothing matters exactly when we shouldn't think it, we'll be able to resist that feeling. And when we feel like we don't need to think nothing matters, we'll be able to resist that and thus, um, thus be able to restore dialectical balance you could, as we desperately need to be AB and not AA, to undergo negation, sublation, as opposed to effacement. But again, that will require us to live in a manner where we habituate ourselves so that we pick better times to think nothing matters, as opposed to the natural times when we think nothing matters, when we need to remember that it really does. For more about OG Rose, please see ogrose.com, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and thank you so much for your time.